building and running Cornish beam engines. First, we'll make a pumping engine. We create a new model using the menu item File, New Thing. We select the Cornish beam engine. We give it a name. And here's the starting model. Just above wall and bedstone sitting on a floor. We select the floor in the component tree at top left. We add a condenser and an air pump. We select the bedstones and we add a cylinder. We select the bob wall and we add a gudgeon. We select the gudgeon and we add a bob. We select the bob and then we add the pump assembly. We add a condenser assembly. An air pump assembly and a cylinder assembly. We select the cylinder assembly and add a parallel motion. This will include the various supports needed. We now select the Cornish beam engine itself. And we add the engine house. This is a half house by default. The end wall forms the bob wall, so the beam is half in and half out of the house. We build a dynamic model. I'll move the slider to test that it works. Because we are missing half the action here, for this demonstration we shall go back and change the engine house so that it is made of glass, so we can see through. There we are. We build the dynamic model again. And there it is. We test it and can now see the parallel motion working through the glass. We export it so it can be used in Scenario Builder where we'll, you'll, you'll be able to see it running. That's what we shall do now. Here is Scenario Builder. We open up an existing scenario. This scenario describes an engine running for three minutes. We edit the narrative, changing the name so to that of the engine we have just created, CBE Demo 1. Then we click on the Build button. This builds the scenario. You see it appearing on the right hand side. We have a set of viewpoints from which to view the engine. A viewpoint inside the engine house will enable us to view the engine closely from different directions. Then we click on the Go button, which starts the scenario running. The engine starts to move, gradually building up speed. We can view it from a number of angles. Here is a close-up of the parallel motion.
we shall now change the engine to a rotative engine. Back in Scene Builder, we save the model under a new name, CBE Demo 2. Next, we select the pumping assembly and cut it. We select the bob and add a rotative assembly. And we build the dynamic model and export it to Scenario Builder. Back in Scenario Builder, we save the current scenario with a new name. We change the engine name in the narrative to the new name and build the scenario. We use the viewpoint as before. We can move the time slider to start later in the scenario, then let it run. Finally, so far, we have only used defaults when building the model. We shall now modify the floor length so the flywheel support isn't left hanging. We select the floor and change its length to 25 feet. And there we are.